We begin tonight with the desperate lengths far too many Australians are forced to endure just to keep a roof over their heads. It's never been harder to buy a home than right now. The housing crisis is so serious that thousands of families are seeking shelter anywhere they can. Hi, I'm Anton, this is Natalina, this is our kids and this is our house. <laughs> For Anton and Natalina, the concept of a close family is all redefined. You suffer from cabin fever. Oh, being stuck in small spaces, oh yeah. In this case, the cabin's little more than a builder's shed. Anton's worked in those, he's worked on the wharves as well. Have you ever measured it? No. It, to me, it looks, yeah, just the same size as a shipping container. And it might as well be. The joint's about eight metres by four, the same size as most living rooms. But into this room is squeezed an entire existence. Natalina gives us the 10 second tour. This is my house, here is my kitchen, my lounge room, my dining and my bedroom. Further along we have where the two boys are sleeping, there's the bathroom in there, and here is where the two girls sleep. Where on earth do you sleep? Uh, we sleep here on, on the, the kitchen mattress floor. On the floor. You sleep on this floor? On the right here, yes. each night? Yes. yes, we've been doing it basically for the past 12 months almost. How's your back? It'd be nice to sleep in a bed, yeah. seriously, yeah. It's cosy at best, uninhabitable at worst. You're feeding a family of seven from a bar fridge? Yes, and to get to the fridge we have to move a couch. This is Struggle Street, a trailer park in outer Melbourne where it's close quarters for everyone on site. How much do you pay for this? One thirty per week. What's it worth? Oh. Um, <laughs> Fifteen bucks a week. There's one in Armadale. For so but many that's Aussie families, bedrooms, putting a roof over the head bedroom. has become the great Australian that's nightmare. We can't afford six hundred and fifty for a four bedroom house. We can buy a house for that money. When did you first apply to Housing Commission? Uh, March of '96 for general waiting application. That's 11 years ago. That's 11, yeah, 11 years. How many rental properties would you have applied for? Hundreds. Hundreds? Yeah, yeah. seriously, Just... yeah. The housing crisis has never been worse in this country. Federal Treasury have said that the vacancy rates for rental are worse than they've been for 40 years. David Imber from Australians for Affordable Housing. It is absolutely unacceptable that we have a family living in conditions in a relatively prosperous country as we have in Australia. But for Anton and Natalina, it's about to get worse. Yeah, he's just um, received this notice to vacate. Why? Um, because there's too many people in the cabin. Where are you going to go? I've got no idea. So this is home? Yeah, this is my home here. I've got my clothes over in the corner. I've got my food in the cupboard there, as you can see. John yeah. Kenny is another one short on space. He's the Melbourne removalist who's shifted into his own truck. You've got no power, you've got no gas, you've got no water, you've got no toilet, and you've got no shower. I've got no life. That's it. It's just so depressing and it bring, brings you down so much. It's not funny. It's, it's not the first time we've seen there. Aussie families living in hell. Last year, we brought you the story of a Tasmanian mum-to-be residing in a tent. Got our food and our radio and our clothes up all around our um, mattresses. Is this the bottom of the pile? Yes. yes. Compared yeah. to the rest of society, yes, this is the bottom but of the pile. But compared to the rest of society, yeah. It, yeah. But it's home. Yeah, that's it. That's why we look at it. As long as we're all sort of together and, you know, we, we're a family unit, that's all that sort of matters now. Damien Murphy reporting and Anton and Natalina will be forced to stay in a motel when they're evicted from their cabin next month. No easy solutions there, but surely our governments have, have to start coming up with answers.